Hello folks, um, I'm David Wright, the MP for Telford, and Chris contacted me uh, a while ago about setting this up. I didn't really understand what the concept was, and I've had it explained to me. You know, you have to make it simple for politicians, really. Um, and I think it's a great idea, it's a great initiative that we can do together as a community. Myself and the Mayor have already re been around the course this morning, and the car got stuck at least twice. Um, and we are going to have a jog over to McDonald's in a minute. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Look, it's great to have so many uh, people here. If this, if this is the number we can get for the first one, I think this can grow into something that's quite enormous and a real asset for the community in Telford. And it's a fantastic initiative. We've got a brilliant park here that I think sometimes we don't use as much as we ought to. It, it, sometimes people say to me that the town park's a bit of a secret, that a lot of people who use it actually come in from outside Telford. Well, I hope a lot of people will come from outside Telford to take part in the park run, along with people from the town. So look, have a great day today. Keep coming, and this is part of our wider healthy living program and I think it's a great initiative that's been organised by volunteers and that's what is important and it's been supported and part funded by the council so thanks very much indeed. I'm going to let the mayor say something now um, and, um, and then we're going to get underway after a bit of a briefing. Thank you very much Dave. Um, Tell for being a new town it's great to see something new start again and something that's going to be so successful by the sounds of it. Um, exactly what Dave said, the park is a bit of a secret and hopefully you'll talk to as many people as possible and tell them how great the facility is here. Um, the car only got stuck once when we were around, he's lying, yeah. um, and he got out and pushed, I didn't. Uh, um, these things don't happen without great organisers. We've got Chris here, I'd like to give him a round of applause first of all. What a massive amount of effort he's put in. There's officers from the Telford and Rinkin Council, um, led by cabinet members that have um, been behind Chris all the way with his great idea. So I'd like to, without further ado, wish you lots of luck. Good luck, don't break a leg, whatever you do, for Christ's sake, the insurance doesn't cover it. Uh, good luck everybody, well done. Um, Park Run has been around a while now, um, it's springing up all over the place, a number of different town cities um, have park runs, uh, the biggest one attracts over a thousand runners each week. Um, I moved to Telford uh, myself and quickly discovered that it didn't have a park run of its own, um, so started the ball rolling to try and get Telford uh, its own park run. It's a five kilometre timed run, completely free of charge, which is obviously a big attraction. People can go on the website, um, register themselves, print a barcode and then just arrive on the day and run the course at whatever speed feels appropriate for them. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? <laughs> okay, here we go, Telford Park run number one in three, two, one. Sandra. What did you think to your first park run, Sandra? Not a lot. <laughs> How was it? No, it's fine, I did it. And uh, are you pleased with your time? I haven't seen the time. <laughs> we'll have a look, we'll be there in a second. Have you done park runs before, this kind of thing? No. Nope. And what made you decide to give it a go? Because I want to be fit. Good work, well, well done you. What's your name? Cathy Ling. And uh, where are you from, Cathy? Rican Roadrunners. Now, you do a lot of running. How was the first part run for you? What do you think of the course? Brilliant. And I think it should be for everybody to have a go. And how? what got you into running in the first place? Um, I wanted to do the London Marathon. So I joined the um, Rican Roadrunners to get me going. But I didn't get in for four years, so I cleared off to to Berlin, did it then on my 61st birthday. Well done, and have you managed to do the London Marathon since? Yeah. And how was that? Not very impressive. No? Too many people? No, no, I think because I'm a slow runner. Right. After, after about five hours they lose interest, where in Berlin it took me six hours and twenty minutes and there were still thousands there to welcome me, and that is the difference. Yeah, having the people there for the moral support. Yeah. And how often do you run at the moment? Two, three times a week. Yeah. I do a race every, most Sundays. <laughs> Just been to well done, 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 done the great one. And can I ask how old you are? 69. So if anybody else is listening and they're over 60, what would you say to them? Have a go. If they want to come and run with me, I'd be more than happy to encourage them to run. What's your name? Uh, the Mocha Daddy. And how was your path run? 
Dad. Where's your little one? What's your name? Tiffany. How old are you, Tiffany? Six. And you've done the whole park run? Yeah. Was it good fun? Yeah. Are you tired now? Yeah. Would you like to do a park run again? But we're not to do today because um, we need to get our breath back. So first off, how was the uh, first park run in Telford for you? It was fantastic. It was very, fun. it was great fun, wasn't it, boys? Yes, we had great fun. Nice weather, sunny day, so that was good, and some puddles to splash in as well. And so. quite a variety of terrain to encounter. Yes, bit of up and down as well. I like my hill running, so that was quite nice. I have a few hills, but it was nice, and, and all the people as well. Great turnouts. And who have we got here? What's your name? Yeah. How old are you? Seven. And did you enjoy the park run? Yeah. Did you pleased with your timing? Yeah. And did you do it again as well? Yeah. What's your name? James. Well done, James.